past week, we found ourselves at the nook of Conk after just kicking the shit out of him. We are now going to make our way over towards the airstrip. I did also see Merchant Zin has a uh, quest for as well. Encourage 12 Pandaran volunteers to leave the Strongarm airship. We originally welcomed the Alliance as friends. Several of our villagers volunteered to help them build an airstrip. Only recently, however, did it become clear to us that they were building a war base within shouting distance of our village. What's worse, I fear that some villagers are being held against their will. If you find them, Druid, let them know that it is time to come home. You got it. So we've got quite a few things to do over here. Let's go get them done. going to reapply some buffs. So, we'll take these guys out and just get stuck in. Triage. As of right now, well, as of recording day, uh, when this goes up, I will be attending my first LARP event of the year, and probably last. <laughs> um, we have found a new system, and we are going to be going um, from Friday. Uh, with no literacy or numeracy skills, but um, I'm trying to remember. I know I had, I had to make the sacrifice of not having the ability to use um, for to read and write or to count any higher than ten, but. I do get the ability to sniff. I'm not even kidding you. This system allows you to sniff. I have no idea why. There we go. Right, I'm going to see if I can. Using the... Oh, yeah. Requisition fireworks, requisition fireworks launches, I remember now. One of which. 
which is oh, there's three of them over there. I don't think I'll be able to do that, but I will be able to get this guy. Both of these guys. Just see how much of a difference that makes, as opposed to. to actually get back into it. Um, also, by the time this is out, you would have also had another uh, Hunter game playthrough. I think we're on number three or four at the moment. Um, and that seems to be well received. Which is nice. It's, it's good to hear that uh, you know it's always good to hear if you're doing something right. Um, so yeah, quite happy with that. I'll be happy to get both of these guys, and possibly a third. I reckon we got. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Right. We will go there. Wait till they come back. Some more of those rocket launchers. from some random telemarketer. It's been happening a couple of times today already. There we go, that's another one. That makes that nice and easy. Got a few, yeah. 
subsequent day. should be able to see exactly where we need to go after this. Luckily this damage that they're doing with the uh, artillery is just so memorable. us alone. All these guys might pop in and help us out. There we go. Alright, sweet. Now scrim. Once we defeat the Alliance and their allies claiming this land will be a fitting testimony to the tenacity of Lord. Yes, I remember you saying the best thing about King Alliance in Pandaria, it will be months before they get any reinforcements. This land will become belong to the Horde Druid. We're nearly finished. Come what may. Blood and Thunder? Blood and Thunder. That's it. Now, Merchant's Inn. 
Although I can't understand why you chose to bring your war to our land, I can clearly see which side is more virtuous. Thank you for your aid, Torrin. Nice. And then Rivet. I hope those ding dongs enjoyed the party you threw for them. <laughs> and there's another one back here with General Nausgrim. You didn't see Captain Doran while you were out there, did you? That sniveling alliance leader must be in hiding somewhere. If he wasn't in that airbase, well, he can't be far. Search the perimeter. Try searching the cave southwest of the main airfield. I want the Alliance gone from here. So we need to slay Captain Doran. We will. Don't worry. We've got this. We'll go around. As much as I would love to just go straight through, we really do not have the power to uh, really go nuts with these guys. Speaking of nuts, how are we going to do this? We can do it two ways. That's still an elite, so let's prowl.
Grim, you just don't seem to understand. They're just a flagpole in the center of the strong arm airship in the Jade Forest. We'll do that. Granted, everything's on fire, but uh, we'll do it. Nazgrim, Kirin, Gorok, Shokia, and Rivet need a base of operations. These flags will have to be changed for the Horde. We have a comfortable base of operations, no alliance around for miles, and a few Horde veterans by your side. It looks like it's time to start painting this continent red. General Nazgrim should know where to start. Report to him at the airfield. And we'll get this very cool helmet. Yeah. We will make this in. Well, we'll make this area our home. Nazgrim. We may have won the battle against the Alliance, but we won't get any further with this many jabbering monkeys on our perimeter. The Hosen are our next target. Fear nothing, There's the helmet. Shade Master Kirin. These creatures are everywhere and very hostile. We'll need to deal with them before any more Alliance show up. This one's taken quite a beating, but I've still made some determination about its anatomy. With the proper reagents, I'll be able to fashion a poison that should in fact, or should be quite effective against this species. In fact, I'll just need to modify a bit of the poison I have with me. Go and find me some viscous chlorophyll down by the water. Any semi-sentient flora should do. And ri rivet. Listen, pal. I sent out a couple of supply drones from the gunship, and they have all been lost or crashed. Almost all, that is. One of them. Excuse me. One of them buzzed right through the camp here and crashed out by them waterfalls. How about you see what you can do about bringing the contents of that crate back here? Hmm? We're all out of drones, but my rocket boots might be get might get come in handy or footy, as the case may be. Uh, just kill me. and a kill in the water spirites. 
which isn't terrible. I mean, it's, we, we need eight of these, so they're keeping them kind of busy. But we'll just keep our eye then. doing okay. And they've had a good week. It's been nice and relaxing for everybody. If it hasn't, that's okay. Hopefully, listening to me will be slightly more relaxing for you. And, uh, relax and uh, enjoy yourself. Ah, what's this? Hosen speech. The language of the Hosen is steeped in mystery. While the majority of the Hosen are able to speak in a common language, they often include an assortment of other sounds and words that have yet to be translated by other races. Most Jinyu scholars believe these additional words to be uncharitable or offensive in nature by the manner but the matter is far from closed. To qu quote the great sage Uk Uk, you can take the dirk out of the jib, but you shouldn't put the jib in the dirk. Wise words indeed, we think. That's good. I like that. There's Duke Ukum over there. It's an obvious reference. It's still funny regardless. There's a monkey over there. I don't really need any anything from them, so I'll try and keep my distance. But I am in need of more of the chloroform. There we go. There we go. Need a bit more. These guys aren't like uh, sentient or aggressive, but uh, obviously I was wrong. Okay, we got nothing really out of that, so that's okay. Let's keep looking. to jump over this again anyway. So why don't we just jump over the supply crate up uh, the falls. the waters of Serenity Falls. We need to be on the shoreline of Serenity Falls. Huh. Is that here? Yes, it is. Perfect. There's the drone. This crate should be full of supplies. The crate, once full of desperately needed supplies, has been thoroughly pillaged. A quick scan of the area shows evidence left behind by the thieves. I see thorns just like the ones by the water sprites on the shoreline to the east. This is a life or death situation for your band of survivors. Those supplies need to be retrieved from their thieving pests and returned to the camp. Sure. I made that nice and easy. Couple of 
those supplies back already. So now all these guys are hostile. Four out of five. I thought I would be all of them, but uh, that's okay. We just need one more. everything. Time to get back. I was actually going to use them. Uh, we don't need to. I'm trying to go around the monkey. And we don't go, damn it. Okay, and then we also probably... Um, yeah, we came close. That's fine. Perfect. Managed to get the hands on those supplies. Yes, we did. Look at that. These supplies should keep us ticking for a few more days. And my boots, you managed not to blow them up. Way to go. A little annoyed that no one else is joining in here. Maybe I should just use these more often. Because it's not like I don't enjoy the armor. It still looks fantastic. It's just annoying. What's the cooldown on it? Three minutes. All right. Shade Master Kirin. Here you go. There's your chlorophyll. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Since you've been gone, more and more of these creatures are approaching our camp. They appear to be amassing for a major assault. We're going to have to take some drastic measures if we hope to see tomorrow. Here, take my poison throwing stars and figure out a way to thin out their numbers. Using the recovered gyrocopter, kill 25 hoes and gut rippers and 25 hoes and nib stabbers, and we'll get honorary combat engineer hide leggings, which are very good. Let's do it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Thundercore? Mm, I don't know what you're thinking. Oh, that's not what I was thinking at all.
Bloody Squaw. certainly something. Okay. There you go, Kieran. Excellent. What a creative solution. That should hold them off for a while. We get our trousers. Which I'll put on. So this jerkin of the monkey. We, ha we have better on, but we'll lose a lot of spirit and intellect. Um, we've got loads of wimble cloth as well. That's good. Another chest. That's better than that. Yeah. I put 88 for those wrists. I'll pop them over there. Okay. Now screw. Curse these furry pests. Kill one, and two more rise in its place. Nothing has changed. Thunder call orders are orders, no matter how few of us stand, regardless of the odds. I have plans to make and problems to solve. I want you to get out there and learn the lay of the land. Don't report, or don't return until you have something useful to report. And silence that yammering fool whilst you're out there. Dismissed. So, we need to visit the Shrine of the Sun and the Shrine of the Moon and kill Duke Ukum. Seem like there's anything else we need to do here. Let's go do it. So we've got to be careful with the amount of monkeys out here. But let's, uh, I think Duke Gukum was over here somewhere, wasn't he? Let's make our way over. Do Kukum. Always big. Okay. Well, we'll just have to do our best. Okay. Ready, Duke? Let's get him. sound familiar. Smack him in the face. Wicked Ook, the big Duke. Yes. We got him. And for it, we got 29 silver and some copper. That's good. Ah, look at you. Hello, stranger. You are making quite an impression with the local pool. I dare say they are starting to fear you. You must be one of those folk from that sky ship that crashed. I have many questions for you, but this is a terrible place to stop. Please, find me in the Cave of Worms, just up the hill, where you have plenty of food. Now, that I'm sure we know was Law Walker Cho. 
one of my favourite characters. We will talk to him soon. But first, we need to visit the shrines. This is the Shrine of the Moon, and here is an ancient Pandaran teapot. And in it... Oh, it was just... The teapot itself was treasure. We found a treasure of Pandaria. There are lots of things like this, lots of treasures. But we just found one, that's great. This is an item worth a hundred gold, which is a lot for us, you remember. So we're at 4,210 gold right now. So we should be able to afford one of the flying things that exists. We may be able to get another one. But uh, that won't be until the very end, I think. See, now all of the monkeys hate us. We are terrifying to them. We took out Dukukum. And because of that, we are now very much top banana. This is the Shrine of the Sun. It's very nice here. I like these little dinky shrines. They don't mean a lot, but... I think the idea was for us to kill Dukukum last. That's okay. Let's go and speak to Lord Walker Cho. All Hosen in the Jane Forest now tremble at the sight of you, Hosen Slayer. Okay. Here's the cave of words. yourself comfortable. Rush, rush, rush. Are you all people always in such a hurry? Sit and have some tea with me a moment, and we will discuss your plight. His features settle into a patient smile. He needs a drink from Cho's teapot. Traveller, but first I'd like to learn a bit about this horde of yours. Ah, where have my manners gone? Technically, I suppose I am the host here. Allow me to tell you a bit about myself and my people before asking questions about you. We need to speak to Lord Wokacho at the Circle of Bone. I am known 
I have gold. I don't get gold for my people. I hate this. We're going too slow here. speed is both too fast and too slow for a law walker joe i suppose the best way to explain what a law walker is all about is to show you this is a very ancient place traveler only recently have i pieced together a method of translating the forgotten language carved into these stones oh the thrill of discovery this never gets old i assure you here you are my guest you do the honors, I insist. Use this key to unlock the secrets the stones contain. Use the stone monoliths at the circle of bone. Every good story needs a hero. Yeah. No, no, there, that's the first one. Okay, we'll decrypt this and see what Lord Worker Cho has to say. I'm sure you will. How about this stone, Mr. Cho? Mr. Cho. Law Walker. Prepare yourself. Sorok Raiders are pro. Uh-uh. Sorok Raiders. Are you Understand that. And this last one here. Peace is what I have. These notes are important to my studies. Your people value knowledge too, yes? I assume so. That is because you arrived on a great airship. There we go. That is enough translating for one day, I think. This experience has been an enlightening one, I hope. Just a moment now. Allow me to gather my things. Wouldn't want to lose these notes now, would be, especially after you risked life and limb for them. There, all set. Let us be off, shall we? I must say... I feel much safer travelling with you after seeing how you handled that saw rock. circle of stones, I imagine. After you. Enough about Pandaran history. Let's talk about your people's travel. I've learned a great 
Right, so oh, here we go. At least eight months worth. This is special. My great grandparents called this part of the forest their home. This is the goal. grateful for the knowledge my forebears have passed on to me. I stand upon their shoulders. So there you have it, Traveller, or as much of it as would, as would make for a proper introduction, hmm? What of you then? Are your people so much different than mine? Surely there must be things we share in common. Let us see. Light the incense bundle at the Circle of Stone. Let's ignite that, shall we? Look at that. Your people revere their ancestors as well. And you cherish their language. We have much in common. But I see that your ancestors were nomads. Whereas we have forests, herbs, comforts, art, and home. You will find few travelers among us. That's cool. It's nice to see everyone. Not so different, you and I. I believe we can become good friends. Now, back to your dilemma. I believe you can help your people build relations with our Hosen as my people have. The trail behind me will lead you to a body of water the Hosen use to gather the fish that feeds them. Around this time, every year, fearsome beasts call those waters home, and many hungry hosen are lost to them. If you were to rescue some of the victims and gather some fish, perhaps you will be regarded more favorably. So we've got to free five hosen from the engorged crocolists and gather five speckled trout from late Kititata. Kititata? Yeah. As opposed to Titicaca. See? Loads of tiny little references. These hoes and don't like us? Yeah, that's okay. That's alright. There you go. We'll just go straight through you. It is nice to be able to do that, to be honest. I, I fear I would not be as far as I am if I kept having to stop and take them out. Well, there ahead of us lies Camp Nuka Nuka, where I believe is where we will be resting for the evening. But first, we need to kill some engorged crocolists and some sp uh, get some speckled trout. And tell and tookie tookie, wicket crook and orcs. Oh wow, I do struggle. I'll 
also have no idea why we're up this close. But uh, I guess we are. There we go, there's another one. Wicked Gookin Crocs and Saving Hosen. Yes. Worth a go, really, wasn't it? Worth a go. Wicked Crook the Croc. That was a lot louder than I thought it would be. I apologise. I'll see if I can if I can make that quieter. No one was expecting that, not even I was. Right, let's get some trout. Two. Get that swim speed. See that one was there, but that's okay. We're not going for that. We're going for the trap. We've got all five. We run away. They will follow us, but. They'll go away. There we are. Tuki Tuki. The Hosen leader. Wicket's got slickies. For me. And there's the trout. Wicked save Hosen and Bryn Slickies. Maybe Wicked not so bad. Tuki Tuki never liked Dukamukman anyway. <laughs> mm, maybe Wicked not so bad after all. Other bold skins not nice to Hosen. Hosen take this from bad Wickets. All Wicked loot goes to Karkar, Chief's orders. Here Wicked, you take it. Karkar will want to meet new Hosen friend. His camp self at Grukin Hill. Bring the Alliance orders to Chief Karkar at Grukin Hill. I reckon that will have to wait. What we'll do, though, is get the rest of these. Boo-boo. Or Bobo. Hmm. You really Hosen friend, Wicket? Let's see. Hosen at Grooken Hill. All out of slicky bait. Tiger flies. Legs stay twitchy in water. Make best bait. Bobo sick of stings. Wicket get bait and take the Grooken. Collect 30 bug legs from tiger flies in tiger's wood. And for you, Nibby Nibby. Shere Khan is one big duker. Group to all my sons. Ick it, nab nab. Eat eat, bitty bitty. And others I can't remember. Wicket wanna help Hosen? Go Grook. Ker. Ker Shan, not Shere Khan. <laughs> the duker's over there. Nibby Nibby points to the east. Kill Shere. Kill Ker Shan in Tiger's Wood. Uh, it is a big boy, but the model for it looks phenomenal. Is there any other quests that we need or see here? I don't think so. Mm. Alright. Here's what we'll do. We will make our way over to here, just outside of their place. They won't run from us anymore. That buff's been lost, but they also won't attack us. There is another quest over here. Cheek cheek. Thundercall, good wicked, they say. Thundercall, help Hosen, they say. No more Grookin, Thundercall, they say. That okay, look out there. Wicked wickets, fall like rain, ripe for the Grookin. Go, join the fun, but remember, Chief Karkar gets all the shinies. That's Hosen's rule number two. Cheek Cheek scratches his head. Hmm, all Hosen rules are number two. 
collect six Alliance Service medallions from battle-worn paratroopers, and we will get the choice of a cloak or a cloak, both of which are 384, so imminently better than what we have, but the difference here is hit and mastery as opposed to haste, or spirit and haste as opposed to mastery. I think we'll go for the wicked, the wicked rap. We'll accept this quest, but here is where we will sit and where we will stay for the evening. I want to thank you again. As you can tell, my voice is starting to go. <laughs> thank you again for uh, coming with us today further into Pandaria. We've gone from about here up to this far, actually. That's quite impressive. Um, and we've got lots of things that we need to do. So uh, we will be doing that, but not this week. We'll be doing that next week. Thank you, everyone, for rocking up. Take care. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.